All right, what is going on, everyone? We are back with more Pokemon Sword and Shield DLC part. I'm, what is Pangoro even looking at? B boy, what are you looking at? There's nothing. There's nothing over there. I don't know why you're. I don't know why you're looking at. <laughs> what was what, wrong with you? All right, but anyways, um, God, he has a mind of his own. But anyways, we are back with part two. We're gonna try to hunt for some more legendary Pokemon here. We did a little bit of off-stream grinding a little bit, so. Uh, we uh, caught a uh, Verizion and a uh, Co not Cobalion, what's the other one? Terrakion, which are, of course, the uh, Anova Trio legendaries that were kind of wandering around the wild. And we actually just found the uh, footprints for uh, Cobalion. So we're going to go back over here, talk to the lovely Sonia, let her know what's going on. So is that the cavern Pokemon, Terrakion? Bang up job, Pug. I knew you can do it. Ah, sugar. There I go again, but it's so hard to uh, contain my excitement. Here, take this for giving me the chance to see this legendary Pokemon in the flesh. Ooh, so we get more experience candies. Well, we already have a lot of those. There's just one more legendary we haven't tracked down yet. So hop to it. You got this. All right. So so let's get the uh, evidence in. Let's get uh, let's get Cobalion. The Iron Will. Which means that depends on where it usually lives. Alright, so she's just gonna do all that. Searching for energy signatures. And bam! And we're looking to be found at the Frigid Sea. We finally come face to face with Legend for Pokemon Search Report. Best of luck. Okay, so I guess we are going over there. We are going over to this beautiful little. Wait, can we actually fast travel to the frigid sea? Uh, can we? Uh, I don't, I don't think we can. We might have to, uh, we might have to take the long way around. All right, so we have to fast travel a little bit here. Yeah, getting to Frigid Sea is kind of a weird little path, but we'll make it either way. We will make it. We'll make it over there, don't worry. Okay, let me let me check the volume here real quick. Yeah, volume seems to be running up there. Alright, so we are going to the Frigid Sea to catch Cobalion, and I think that will be the end of it. As soon as we find the path. Yeah, this is, this is a weird little pathway to go down to. Yeah. Which is kind of weird, but it's, no, well, it's whatever. God, this music is so peaceful. It, sound, it actually sounds like winter music, you never know. Okay, so I think we gotta go this path? Okay, so that's where all the ghost Pokemon are. I don't think it's this one. I think it has to be down the other path. Okay, Mimic use is chilling there. I think we may have to go this way. It's been a while. <laughs> I don't remember which path. I, th I think it might. Yeah, I think it's this way. I think it's this way. Uh, yeah, because I see the clay all over here. Yep. Yeah, it's this way. So look at all these. Giant hot barrages over here, these giant elephants. Okay, so now we gotta go this way, and now we gotta find where we found the ending trail of these footsteps. So let's go down here. Hopefully, we can uh, find a cobalt lion. Then we can catch it with a master ball. I think it was like in here somewhere. It's a lot of guitar. Yeah, it's in here somewhere. It's just where it's at. Okay. Has to be in this cavern, so we went. Oh, we went past it. Well, it could be over here. We did see footprints over here earlier. So 
sense look to this thing. It has to be in the cave, because I don't think you would imagine it being outside of the cave. Alright, so that's a TM over there, so we'll get to that later. Goldbat, don't really care about you right now. Um, that's like going in a circle to find this Pokemon. Look at all these Zubat. Look at all these Zubat over here. This way? Are you over here? Or am I just going back? Nah, I'm just going backwards. Just going backwards. Yeah, it has to be... Okay, so, okay. Frigid Sea, so it has to be... Or it could be... Hold on, what, where am I located at? Like, exactly. Okay, Roaring Sea. Okay, so it said... She said Frigid Sea, so that's where we have to, that's where we gotta go. That's where we gotta go. I think it might be on that island over there, so let me look. Alright, yeah. So let's go past these. I bet you it's up on this island. If it's not up here, I don't know where it's at. Alright, so let's just keep checking out these. Look at all these. Wall ring. We have we actually do have a wall ring though, believe it or not. Yep, there you are. Right over here. Yeah, let's go get let's get this Pokemon. Even though we probably you already have it on you don't have an English version of it. So let's use many of our uh, of our nine hundred and fifty master balls we have. There we go. Catch it just for the Pokedex, because why not? Nine tails grew to level 79. Isn't that swell? Alright, let me let's check out its stats here. Alright, so. Jolly nature? Is that jolly? Yeah, it is jolly nature. Okay. It's got a pretty good nature. Koba Lion. Okay. Swords Dance. Sacred Sword. Iron Head. Close Combat. It's kind of interesting to see how it would be all the way out here. Alright, so. So let's go. Let's go back. We gotta go back to town. Gotta let Sonya know. Gotta let her know what the situation is. Just gotta let her know. Okay. Oh, here we go. Cutscene. That Pokemon, I knew it. That's the Iron Will Kobolion. We did it! This is just amazing. Who's the prof greatest professor in Galar now? Ah, er, don't tell my grand I said that, would you? But I couldn't be happier with what we've done here. I hope you take this little reward. Too bad you're... Okay, so that's okay. It's all thanks to you, though, Pug. I was able to prove my theory was correct. Thank you so much. You make a first-rate assistant for my work if you aren't ready the champion. You know, there's an old legend about uh, Kobolion, Terrakion, and Verizion. It is said to, uh, it's said that to protect their allies, they wage battle against humans bent on destruction. And ever since, they kept themselves apart from humanity. But the fact that remains that they agreed to become your Pokemon, Pug. I'm guessing they're willing to give humanity another chance. <laughs> it warms your heart a bit, doesn't it? Now then, enough dithering about it. I have to go back home to write all this up. I'll be seeing you around, Pud. Don't catch cold in this freezing place and have fun with your own adventures. Come on, Yamper. You and me are heading home. Oh, there it goes. Oh, here's... oh look at that cute Wark. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. The Corgi. All right, I guess we're getting... Can we get this Beldum Bell? I guess, uh... That Beldum's just chilling there. I wonder if we have to grab it, though, or not. All right, so let's head back. I think Peony might be able to... progress our, uh, Or keep track of our prog progress. The Legendary Giants. Uh... Oh, that's not it. Okay. 
Okay, we'll, okay, so we'll, uh, let's get to it. Okay. So, for the next area, we're going to have to warp to the wild area, the original wild area. So, we got to go, yeah, we got to go to Hammerlock. Hammerlock Hills, that's where Zapdos is at. So, we got to go find it. heard the cry. Okay, so kind of miss this old place. So that means we have to look for Zapdos in this area. It's a rainy area, so we can uh, try to see where it's at here. Is it just like running around? So we can try to find it. It's going to be super fast, no doubt about it. So we have to uh, look and see where it's at. It's a big area, so we gotta kind of miss this old area. So I don't think it'll be in the grass, though. I think it's just roaming around. Okay, so this is actually turned sunny. Though. Zapdos, where are you? Zapdos, where you be at? Where you be at, Zapdos? Uh, this is gonna be like looking for a needle in the haystack kind of a little bit. So, yeah, it's probably moving around like super fast. Snow, I can't really see due to the snowy blizzard. That's not. Okay, there we go. That's better. Zap Ghost, where are you? What's that? Oh, that's Zapdos. Oh. Oh, he's running. He's he's a fast boy. Look at him. God damn. Alright, so we're gonna have to. Okay, I don't think speed's gonna help capture it, so we're gonna have to do something else. Not you. To... We gotta get it okay. Okay, so we may have to walk in order to uh I'm just chilling in the grass. Yeah, so that's that boy's just chilling. He's running lightning fast. So we may have to walk super slow. Like, not make any noise. God, it's like he knows. He knows I'm right behind him. Do we have to ride our bike then to catch him? I don't know. He's just like super zippy. Might be a problem though, we'll try to catch him. Get off her bike. We may have to. We get past this tree here. No, don't do that. Yeah. Yeah, here he comes. What am I doing? We're trying to get uh, Galarian Zapdos. Look at it. It's right across the screen. So we're just... 
Yeah, he's super fast if you, you alert him. Can I, like, crawl? I don't know if I can crawl. Okay, Pedo, go away. Um, of course, you had to come near me, but that's okay. Yeah, you have to be in the wild area to go to, the, like, the OG wild area to get Zapdos. Because he's, he's, he doesn't go to any other place. Yeah, see, like, he just starts running. Like, if any Pokemon attract you, he just starts, like, booking it. Maybe if we can get slow, we can go into the grass. I think that might be the key, just to go in the grass. Move a little bit. Okay. No, I'm not trying to get near you. I say go away. If I had repel, I probably would do it, but I just, I just... even he walks very fast too. Yeah, you cannot make any noise. I mean you probably could, but he's just gonna run. Don't let him. See. I don't think the the trick is. I don't think you can let him see you. Yeah, things like a goddamn Roadrunner is super fast. See, like that. Maybe the trick is you gotta go behind him, then use the speed to catch up. Like this. No, I don't think it would have mattered though. Yeah, this is gonna be a bit. Hold on. Yeah, even if you go right behind him, he's still gonna hear you. You have to find a way to cut him off, though. I think that might be the trick. Boy, he's fast. Can't keep up with him. Then we gotta wait for him to tire out. And there's no way he's just gonna run like that forever. Okay, we're kind of catching up. Hold on. Oh, yeah, he's slowing down. Okay, so if you keep chasing him, he just slows down. Get over here! There we go. Yeah, you just gotta keep chasing after him. So you can't let him, like, slow down or anything. That's the trick. Yeah, I am not chasing you again. There we go. That's the way it's done. All right, let's take a look at Zapdos's uh, stats here. I think it's a physical attack. Yeah, it's a physical attacker. Defiant to boost the Pokemon stats when it's. Ooh, that's actually a nice ability. Thunderous. I remember Thunderous Kick. We talked about this before. And Drill Peck. Yeah, this is this is a cool looking Pokemon to have. Like, I'm not gonna lie, this is actually kind of kind of cool. All right, so we can just send him to the box. Cause why not? That's one of the, from the clue. He jotted down the current status on legendary clue number three. Zapdos was caught in the wild area. Beep beep beep. Oi oi, it's me, Peony. How's your expedition going? Come again? You found the legendary Pokemon Zapdos? Gahaha! <laughs> That's really something. Now go track the other bird Pokemon. All right, now to find Moltres. We have to go to the Isle of Armor. So yeah, we have to go all the way back. We gotta go all the way back. 
Isle of Armor. So, so you obviously, ooh, you actually right over here. You're just gonna have to keep chase, we gotta chase him. You gotta see where he goes and where he lands. That's a pretty fast glider, I'm not gonna lie. Take this path. God, it's like a wild bird chase. No pun intended. Right, hopefully we didn't lose him. Ah, but of course I ran into him. Okay, yeah, but we have no time to for the likes of you. Oh wait, I couldn't escape. What? What? No, stop with that. Stop! Oh my god. Wait, do I have a poke? Do I even have a poke at all? Let's see. If I, like, can't run again, I might have to use something. Like that. This game be trolling me, man, I swear. Alright. Okay, I think we might have lost it. Where are you, Moltres? Dark flying bird. Okay, I think we may have to fast travel again. Yeah, because we ran into the um, Drapion, which we shouldn't have, but we did. Okay. Oh, there it goes, right there. I see it resets itself. Let's try not to run into any wild Pokemon while we're chasing this thing. So, we have to go down here. We have no choice. Okay, I see where it's going. Okay. I see where it's going. Oh, the bad part is the Sharpedo is going to be over here. Oh, it's going to make it. So it's going to fly over here. Okay, it's going to... Can we actually cut across? Okay. Okay, so it's flying this way. Okay, so it's going into the fog. So let's follow it into the fog. I hear a Sharpedo right behind me. Oh, the fog it doesn't help. If I get out of this fog, that'd be nice. Ultras, where are you? Oh, there he goes. Yeah, I see it. God, that thing is taking a really weird path. the challenge. Okay, it's going this way. And one over there. Right, hopefully we can turn to see where it goes. Okay, I see where it's going. Maybe we can cut it off over here. Gyarados, I don't need to play with you right now. Okay, so it's going this way. I think it just makes a lap around the island, I think. Right, so 
We're just gonna keep chasing it, I guess, just for a little bit. Does it even land at some point? God, this thing is just so annoying to catch up with. Okay, so I guess it's turning over here, yep. I'm right here, Moltres. Oh, it's about to, it's about to land. Come down here. There we go. Yeah, that was that was even more painful to have it watch it fly around the island like that. I did, I, th I think you just had to keep up with it. That's all it was. And I think that's all the Galarian birds. We have all we have all three of them. We have all three birds. All right, let's let's take a look at your stats here. So I know you have a pretty good ability. The Berserk, but it's just the Pokemon special attack. When it takes a hit, that is cause HP to become half or less. Okay, so fiery wrath. Does make the opponent to flinch. Hurricanes. Ooh, it's got nasty. Ooh, that's actually pretty cool. Pretty cool looking mine. Alright. So now we have all the Kanto birds and the Kanto, the Galarian birds, too. You caught Moltres uh, from a What a Legendary Pope Pump for the clue. Yeah, so we caught Wild, Wild Area, Isle of Armor, and the Crown Tundra. All right, better report back to the chief. That's what we're gonna do. All right, so let's yeah, let's head back. Let's head on back. All right, so let's. All right. That goes the adventure, and yep, the legendary bird Pokemon, Articuno. Wait, you really caught Articuno from the Legends? That's ultra mega brilliant. Report away. Hmm. So that's Articuno, isn't it? the legendary Pokemon that can manipulate ice? I definitely see the resemblance, but it's got this dodgy mask on and everything. It hardly seems cold at all, does it? Oh well, it's got one ultra mega icy gaze. That's Articuno, Articuno enough for me, anyway. Let's call this expedition a success. Got anything else you want to uh, talk about? Yeah, and then Zapdos. Wait, you caught Zapdos from the Legends? The Ultra Mega Brilliant? That's Ultra Mega Brilliant, report away. So that's Zapdos, is a legendary bubble that can cause thunderstorms. I definitely see the resemblance, but those legs look thicker than I expected, and it's not exactly electrifying, is it? Is as a spiky as long beak as I hoped for. That's Zapdos enough for me, I suppose. Let's mark let's mark this expedition complete. Got anything, any other legendary you want to talk about? Yeah, Moltres. Wait, you caught Moltres from the Legends? That's old. Yeah, he just pretty much says the same thing. So Moltres, a pop embodiment of fire. Definitely seen the resemblance, but it's not at all hot to the touch. Kind of looks like it'd be more at home with the punks and spoon than in a volcano, doesn't it? Oh, well, it does looks a bit like it's burning if you don't look, if you don't look too close. That's a uh, Moltres, I suppose. Let's call that expedition. Well done. Looks like you reported all there is to report on legendary clue number three and the legendary bird. Smash it! I'll mark this expedition done. So we got that done. He just check marks it. Just da 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 da. Got any other thing you want to talk about? All right. So we need. Okay. So the giants. Um, and I think the harvests we actually do have to work on. So these are the only two that we have to uh, look into. Statue of Pokemon. But he, I think he said for this one to talk to the uh, villagers here, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so I get some adventure hits. All right. Giant abroad. Well, let's see when we have to find those ruins where you can do anything. Okay, yeah, let's do this one first. Okay, 
so I get some adventure hints. Head scratch. Make sure I have a gander at the statue of town and heard everything the townsfolk have to gotta say. Ever heard something over and check your legendary food for uh, take a fresh look from square one either. Got anything else you want? Okay, so we like I said, I think we gotta uh, talk to everybody. That's the thing. So we definitely need to talk to some people. Statue of Pokemon. It seems to be missing something. So we got the Galarian birds. We are, we're already done with that. All right, so I think we're gonna try to get this item. Here, but then we were interrupted somehow. So let's get this item. The bottle cap, beautiful. We got bottle caps for days. All right, so we got the Sonia one out of the way. Um. Okay, so you pretty much say the same thing. Okay, the big city. Okay. No, I don't need carrot seeds. There really isn't that much stuff for the... Uh, not a lot of people here to talk about this legend. No um, I, I think I've talked to everybody, but I don't know how to... Mayor's house. Okay, so yeah. Unless I need, I need to try to, like, get something. I'm a little confused on this one. It keeps saying it's missing something. Is it the crown from the... Somehow it feels like it's missing something. Or like a butt. I think th there was a bucket at the top of the tower over here. That was like the only option I had. Because we went... Uh, oh, okay. We can actually fast travel up here. Yeah, the crown shrine. Okay. Yeah, so we can fast travel up here instead of just like taking the long path. Wait, what's in this den over here? Oh, it's uh, okay. Okay. So we need to figure out where we gotta go. So obviously, there's something over here. Something we need to activate. Must be some sort of basket. I bet you that's what we need to take over there. Alright, massive tree reaching up to the sky. Okay, so let's... Trying to make sure there's nothing else around here. So that way we can try to at least uh, go back and uh, backtrack everything. So why is that tree going to the sky? Okay. Let me head out of the Was there, is there a reason to go up here then? Or let me see. I know there was something was watching over here when we first came up here, but that was like I did that off stream. Yeah. Yeah, that, that basket obviously means something. Yeah, it seems to be some sort of basket, but. Okay, I can't ride the bicycle right now, that's whatever. Can we like, call a, no, I don't think we can. Yeah, 
this is a little confusing. Let me, let me try to figure this out. So this, this is obviously the path to go up here. Um, there is a purple beam over here. This, uh, ooh, this is a Metagross. Hmm. I mean, we could probably host the go online and then host the uh, Metagross raid. Right, let's actually connect to the internet here. Maybe we can help out some people. Okay. So yeah, let's let's host this Metagross raid because I think we have one on our uh, Pokedex, but it wouldn't hurt to have another one. Um. Who, who shall we use? Okay, Gengar. Okay, no, let me let me see. Who can we use? Steel Psychic. We'll probably use a Fire type. Yes, yeah, so I just wanted to. Uh, I wanted to get rid of this Purple Beam. Let's see. Who can we use? Sure. Um, all right, this is gonna be kind of risky, but let's use a let's use our shiny Gigantamax Gengar because it is a ghost. Ghost does hit steel for neutral, and then uh, it's also psychic, so it's super effective too. All right, I'm pretty sure people, a lot of people are gonna join this one. 100, I can feel it. Yep. No, oh, look at that. Boom. More people gonna join? Yep. Oh, holy crap, that's a lot of people. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Just wait on them to ready up and then we'll do it. We'll probably do one raid and then we'll probably see if we can continue on here. All right, fire types, that's fine. Imagine if it was a shiny. I highly doubt it, though. There's no way in God's... Yeah, see, it's not a shiny. Little, we're gonna be way faster than it, though, 100%. Yeah, but I'm also weak to Psychic because I am part poison. So I need to be on the lookout. Be careful for that. Bang, he has he got four bars. Oh, that's aim for me. I knew that was gonna happen. Oh my goodness, yeah, you're really ripping me apart. Yeah, he knows who the true threat is. Screw the fire Pokemon, I want you. <laughs> I want you bad. Oh, that's not going to hit, though. 
He's like a tank. Yeah, I forgot Meteor Mash actually increases attack. I think it has clear body, if I'm not... Yeah, it does have clear body. Okay. Man, so I have like Andy nearly shutting off your computer every time you record? Oh no! Andy! Wait, have you gotten to the point where you're just like trying to shut up, shut off the computer? He's, he's old enough to figure out how to troll daddy, apparently. <laughs> how do we troll daddy? Yay, we caught the Metagross. Beautiful. Even though we already have one on our Pokedex, I wanted another one anyways. Metagross is a cool Pokemon. It's like one of my favorite Hoenns, for sure. Alright, so let's... Ooh, Jolly... Ooh, it's actually Light Metal. Half's the, half's the Pokemon's uh, weight. Oh, no wonder it actually lost. Okay, it doesn't have the clear... Okay. We could probably switch it to clear body, though. I think we probably have... We could probably get an ability patch just for that. Alright. Okay, so actually, let's get let's get back to it here, because I want to find out more about... Uh... Okay, so I want to find out... Let me, let me disconnect from the... Yeah, I do want to... Uh... Oops. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Um... Go to the Wicom. Yeah. I'm on disconnect here. At least for now. Um It said to look at the statue, but are we supposed to find something on the ground over there that's missing? I don't know. Uh, that and running errands for someone while trying to record is always difficult. My videos will always be how how to get slow king, Reggie's, and the sword line. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's like I said, it's not a big deal. Yeah, the Reggie's and the other ones will have to I'll have to figure out. Okay, no, I don't want. Okay, I don't want to go the slope. I want to go. It said to look into it, but how we look into it's the real question. Do we have to look at it from a certain angle? Yo, what's up, Bear? How you doing? Oh, I'm trying to figure out how we can look at it from a certain angle. Okay. Let me figure this out. Because I've talked to pretty much everybody here. Because the mayor's like, oh, have you looked into it? And he hasn't said anything since. Unless there's somebody back here I haven't talked to. Oh, there actually is something back here. Gunk shot. A gunk shot. I, I did a gunk shot on my... Okay, not no, no, Bill! You're really gonna do it like that, Bill! Yeah, freeze in. <laughs> oh, freeze in. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> the puns. Like I said, do I have to look at it from a certain... I don't think you look at it from a certain... I think you just gotta talk to people. Or maybe you have to talk to people inside? I don't know, because there's only one person that's even in here. Never seen... Oh, okay, so it's proper trainer. Okay, so that really doesn't... 
too much. Alright, so Eevee's is chilling. Okay, so can we go back? No, we can't go back there. I thought it was like a backdoor way or something. Okay, um, yeah, let's buy more Ultra Balls. Why not? A big pearl. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to find the person we could talk to, unless. Okay, hold on. It said, have you had a look at the uh, statue? Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm talking to everybody. It said, Peony said to talk to everybody. Let me figure this out here. Alright, so... Wishing peace, that's cool. Okay. So there's gotta be somebody we have to talk to. I know the temples are around somewhere. Well, I know the temples. There's at least one temple that's over here. Yeah, Registeel Temple is uh, over here, but we gotta... Okay, so let's see. What does this say? Let, let ring the piercing note that will wake the giant of steel. So we need, like, a, a, a ring? What kind of ring do we need? Unless we have to have Reggie Gigas in our lineup. Um, let's see. Did we put in Reggie Gigas? I don't know. Do we even have a Reggie Gigas? Well, we have, we have the Reggies. Like, we actually have... Well, we have a shiny Registeel, actually. I forgot about that. Here, let me, let me try something. Maybe might, this might work. Oh, look at this guy just falling behind us. Wake the giant of steel. Hey, Reg Registeel, you want to go wake up your brother? You want to go wake him up? No? You don't want to wake up your brother? Okay, yeah, you it looks like he doesn't want to wake up his brother. Uh, yeah, let's get, uh, let's get Pamplo back in here. Let's get, uh, Pangoro back. Um,. A bunch of mist and fog over here. All right, I want to go back and see exactly what he said because I know I'm kind of like going in circles with this, but it has to be it's probably going to be something completely obvious. But I'm just I just can't figure out what it is. I'm like too stupid to figure it out. Um, let's go back in this house. Do we have to go back to the Dynamax? No, I don't think we gonna have to go back to the Dynamax place, I don't think. Alright, Adventure Hits. Yeah, this one. Here again, I heard everything the town folk has got to say. And check your legend town map and check your legendary clue for, for a fresh look from Square Wall. Okay. Well, yeah, I just talked to everybody, though. I did all that. did all that, though. This is weird. It probably has something to do with that bucket at the uh, top of the mountain. I bet you that has something to do with that. Okay, hold on. I might have to look this up here. Hang on. Kind of cheating a little bit, but, uh... Uh, 
Okay. Alright, so... Okay, but that step is... Okay. Okay, so you might mention... Okay, so if you want to add it to the process... Includes finding carrot seeds. Okay, so we gotta get carrots. Okay, so... Uh, long winding... Uh, I get... Okay. The you have to solve about... Instead of heading to the base... Expect the crown. Expect the crown on the table? Wait, where's where's the crown on the table? Hold up. Hold up a second. It's expect the crown. Is he talking about him in his house? Oh wait, right here, I think. Yeah, right over here. Okay, okay, I am so stupid for that. Hey Chief, my pillows caught your eye, eh? Your pillow? Yeah, that's not your pillow. Oh, boy, listen here, Chi. I got some wisdom to impart. If you could put your head on it and have a kip, it's a pillow. No? Fortunately, I went and left my favorite pillow back at home, so I had went to have a look around town for something else to rest my head on, and I found this out back behind the inn. Uh, can I have it? Yeah. C come off of it. You want me to hand over my ultra mega comfy pillow? That's a lot. That's asking a lot, even coming from you, Chief. Always got the dots about. It. Hmm? What's that? You think my pillow's got something to do with the legendary Pokemon? God, Ultra Mega, seriously? That's that is just some old thing I found. But if you really want it, Chief, who am I to refuse? All right, all right, go on then. Have it. But you better make sure you track down that legend. Except for the white. All right, so the wooden crown. Part of it seems to be chipped. That means it had meant to be part of something. All right, now, now we actually go back to... Okay, now we got to go back to... No, I think, Matt, I think we figured it out. So we're going to have to go back. I don't feel it's missing the wooden... Yeah. Russell, Russell. Shawunk. Ooh, look at that. Wooden crown fits perfectly on the statue. Crown own? Uh-oh. What's going on? Uh-oh. Look who's behind. He's lurking. Does it want you to follow it? I guess we're following it. My dude, what's up? What's up, my dude? Oh, it has the Triforce symbol? Oh, look at that. Uh, Kron, Kron. Seems the mysterious phone wants you to test your strength. Do you, you want to ready a Pokeball? Yeah. Kron, round. Alright, I'm taking a screenshot of that. Unnerve. Your team is too. Okay, so it has the unnerve ability. All right. You can't throw a poke bomb. Won't let its guard down. Okay. So it's a uh, grass and psychic, and yeah, actually, you're a really good matchup, Pangoro. Okay. Ooh. Heal pulse. Oh, he actually healed me. Thank you, dude. Okay, so... Can't throw a po- Okay, so it won't- Okay, so we can't catch it, though. It is confirmed. We can't catch it yet. Oh my god, my leg. I like- Ow. Ugh. Okay, hold on. I just had a big cramp in my leg. <laughs> That hurt. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, okay. Oh, that felt good. Oh, my God. That was a huge cramp. Okay, so we couldn't catch it either way, so not yet. Not yet. Cr 
crown, crow, round, 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 round crown. Uh, who are you? Yeah, who? Yeah, you're talking to the Pokemon. Who are you? Recrown. Oh, hey, what's up? I heard a big ruckus coming from over here. What's this now, Chi? Were you having a Pokemon battle? Oh, look at this. Huh? What a massive noggin. Rum crow crown. Crack crown. I don't know if I read the text right, but oh, there it goes. What? Well, what's this? Yeah. Uh oh. What's happening to him? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm already, I'm way past that, Matt. <laughs> I'm way, I don't know where you've been, but I'm way past that. Ah, uh, yes, a sturdy body, just as I expected. I hope he doesn't mind that I uh, make use of it for the time being. Are you the po- Yeah, he's gotta be. Oh, I see you've grasped the situation already. I mean, yeah, it was kind of obvious. <laughs> I don't know, Matt, I don't know how far behind you are, but uh, hold on. Okay. All right, there we go. Okay. I am a Calyrex. I am um, I am the one known as the King of Bountiful Harvests. I have borrowed this man's body in order to uh, thank you in person, so to speak. Indeed, there are no words to adequately express my gratitude towards uh, you for restoring my statue. In days long past, I have reigned over these lands as king. The humans offered me their loyalty and respect as I was able to bring lush vegetation to the land and give them plentiful harvests year after year. However, it seems that over many, many years, the people of this land have forgotten my existence. They used to, be, they used to make offerings to me every year, but even that tradition has long since been lost to the ravages of time. You see, it is the faith of the people that grants me strength. And now that I have lost but a fraction of my former power, even my loyal steed has abandoned me. However, you were kind enough to restore, no, restore my statue. That act has returned some strength to me, at least enough to speak to you by borrowing the body of another. Now, kind-hearted human child, I have a favor to ask of you. I must, I must know once and for all whether the people have truly forgotten about me. I wish to speak, wish you to speak to the villagers as they remember the King of Bountiful Harvests. I tried to ask them myself, you, you uh, understand, but they treated me like some sort of fairy tale creature or flew into a mild panic at the sight of me. Please, kind of hearted, you know, I beg of you to help me. So we gotta help him. We jawed down the legendary clue number one. All right, so once printed the crowns. Okay, so first she said. I can now speak to humans by talk, taking over a person's body. Please, in that case, I need to know. All right, so we're just gonna assume the fact that he's just gonna stay like this. He's just gonna stay like this. He's floating in the air and glowing. Okay, so we just need to. If they remember. Okay, so let's go ask around. Let's go ask around. Okay, so, yeah, rip that guy, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's gonna be there for quite some time. The Pokemon King? Oh, sure, my grand used to tell me stories about it all the time when I was a kid. An old fairy tale that the King of Bountiful Harvests? I used to believe it was, it was real, you know? I was told that if I made mischief in the fields, the King would steal my body away. Well, isn't that something? Oh dear, I'm sorry, I'd rather be busy doing nothing right now. Oh, okay, so you're not just going to tell me anything. Cool. Alright, I guess we're going to the mayor then. Do I remember the King of Bountiful Harvests? Well, of course I do. It's the only main tourist attraction of our lovely, lovely freezing tent, after all. I imagine we would see more visitors if, the, if, the, if only the king were real. Okay, so we have to talk to anybody else? Or is... Okay, no. Okay. Oh, we have to talk to over here. We gotta talk to the villagers. King of Bountiful Harvests. Well, if it exists, why doesn't it heal the land around here so we can grow crops for a change? 
You asked all the people about the King of Battle for time to report back to Calyrex. Yeah, poor Peony. He's just gonna sit there looking possessed for a little bit. Only in a Pokemon game. Ah, human child, I trust you were able to speak to the villagers. So how was it? Did they say anything about me? They did, but uh, just that you were a... Uh... Yeah, they said majority of them said they were a f he was a fairy tale, so we'll go with that. Hmm, it is as I suspected. Nobody truly believes that I am real. It seems the people of this land have indeed forgotten the bond they once shared with me. Hmm? Oh no, of course I'm not grieving. I'm the king of bountiful harvests, after all. I know better than the count of unhumans to remember me. This proves beyond doubt that I cannot simply rely on human faith if I want my powers to return. If only my loyal steed were to return to me, I would uh, regain something of what I have lost. Uh, your loyal steed, is that a Pokemon? Yes, the four-legged Pokemon I used to ride all across the land. The very same that was the very same Pokemon that my statue in the village shows me riding. <laughs> What's up, bloody? How you doing? Uh, I'll ask though in ancient times we spent many days together dashing through the valleys and over the mountains of this land. My power waned or waned, I guess whatever you want to say it. And I was forced to part ways with it. Now I know not where it may be. Even if we should succeed in locating my loyal seed, I have my doubts on as to whether it has remained, well, loyal. I have lost so much power. Perhaps the villagers know something about my currently not-so-loyal steed. I would be in depth if you could speak to the head of the village on my behalf. If you're ever able to find any information at all, I ask you that you let me know. Alright, he's just gonna... Oh, and now he's back to normal. Snort! Gah! Huh, Chief? What a ma what the mazit? No or oh wait, no, no, it's no, it's normal. I must have fallen asleep where I stood. Sorry about that, Chief. Still, I feel strange, like my body's not quite my own. Guess I'll head back to base and get some rest. Besides, it's freezing out here. All right, now we gotta find. Okay, now we gotta go to. Uh... Now we gotta go to the mayor. All right, up. Oh. The mayor's not home at the moment. He went to the uh, have a look in the fields in the giant's bed. You can go look for him if you're in a hurry. The fields in the giant's bed are southeast of the villa. Okay, so we know where that's at. Go through Frostpoint Field and just keep going to the left. He started through that. Yeah, he was being possessed by Calyrex. The, uh, okay, it seems you just can't. There's a note stuck that I'll be in the fields in the giant's bed. All right, and that's where we're going. We're going to Giant's Bed. All right, so let me, uh, let me get out our handy-dandy map. All right, so... Where is Giant's Bed? That's Giant's... Pro okay, Giant's Bed. Okay, so that's... We just gotta keep going left. Keep going left. Keep on going left. It's kind of foggy, so we're going to uh, have to plan this. Oh, look at the grim snarl right there. Wait, where are we at? Oh god, let me let me check and see where we're at. We're at Giant's Bed. Yeah, we're at Giant's Bed. Now we just gotta find the we gotta find the mayor. Said he's in the fields, but where is he at exactly? Oh, here he is, right over here. Alright, we found him. At last, this field is no good either. The soil is barren, no crop could uh, possibly grow here now. Perhaps the land as of the Crown Tundra truly are beyond hope. What's this? Oh, our dear visitor, what brings you here? Hmm, you want to learn about the loyal steed of the King of Bountiful Harvests. 
Well, uh, this pl this is hardly the place for storytelling. Come to my home in Freezington. It's better to have a nice chat and the warmth after all. Please visit whenever you're ready. I'll be waiting. All right, I guess we're going to his house. We just go. Okay, yeah, we can just fast travel over there, so it's not too bad. Um, okay, yeah, let's go back. Look for look learn more from the mayor in his home. Yeah. All right, so let's just head on over there. Let's just head on over there. So he's back in his home, so let's, or he's right over here, so let's talk to him. Have you seen what happens to the statue of the King of Bountiful Harvest? Uh, his, its head becomes massive. Hmm, you say that's the way the king's supposed to look? Now that you mentioned it, it does resemble the design of on our town's souvenir shirts. But you speak as if you've uh, seen the king with, uh, with your own two eyes. That's because we have. That statue's been broken since I was a child. Oh, of course, you want to learn about the loyal steed of the King of Bountiful Harvests. Well, I don't know why you'd be interested in such things, but then come, but come then, follow me. An old book I read long ago said that the King's loyal steed was particularly fond of a certain special vegetable, but my memory isn't uh, what it used to be, so I can't recall exactly what the steed so desired. I think it's best that you uh, search on that bookshelf over there if you want to find out more. Alright, so I'm guessing, well, yeah, the carrots, possibly? I bet you it's the carrots. Like, they're growing carrots out, so it would make sense. Uh, which book would you like to read? Uh, the Steed. The horse, the horse Pokemon gave over the power to serve the king and carry it hither and thither. Uh, the two eventually became one for a long time, combining their strength to create a forest and a single night. This proud steed had been a wild thing once, ravaging village crops and causing much woe. But the king, in all its greatness, brought this fierce creature to heal and secured its loyalty. And for uh, each among us, don't, not to be confused with the game, to claims to uh, the steed's hide was black as the midnight gloom in which the ghosts appear, there is another who claims that it was white as a block of solid ice. None alive can now say which is the truth. Would you like to check out other books? Uh, I'll join you via Discord when you uh, want. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll figure that out here. I, I don't know what's been going on with the audio for the Discord. Hardy crops for the tundra. While carrots cannot be grown in the can be grown in the crown tundra, they have unusual growth habits. While grown beneath the heat snow, these hardy roots tend to develop in ice root carrots. When grown in traces to where many uh, souls are laid to rest, shade root carrots will be your crop. Shade root carrots are a favorite treat for ghost type, while ice type Pokemon seem to be delight in eating ice root carrots. In order, in, according to old fairy tales, the steed that the king of Bountiful Harvest rode upon loved both of those uh, varieties, or perhaps one or the other. Records seem to contradict one another with some stories speaking of a white steed delighting in ice root carrots and others mentioning a black steed devouring shade root carrots. So there's two different types of horses, apparently, we gotta find. Would you get like to check any other books? Alright, so the king. Okay, so we kind of know about the king. The sweet with his left hand, the fruits. Okay. Do we have to read all these books? So we worship the king and play. Okay. All right, unity, send the king its power in order to... Okay, so it's, it just kind of, like, tells you, like, like way back when. There's, like, I think there'll be, like, a video on it or something somewhere. The dawning age of New Year, we never forget to get the king was offering. Let the radiant flower and the mane of steed be woven together to... Okay, so... To grandchild and never forgotten. Okay, try the freezing... The sort of temperatures drive a passing year. Freezing snow, Samba, today, and uh, get your body moving to stay warm all winter. Okay, so this is just like a. Uh, that was just like, okay, Tower Records. Okay. Okay, so I guess that's all the books. Did some archaeology reading. Little steed. Okay, so let's go back to the book here one more time. Alright, so steed. Okay. Crops. Okay, for Among Us, the claims. Okay. 
black as the midnight gl white as solid as ice none can s okay all right all right so now we're back outside what happens uh oh there he is Such a mysterious Pokemon that thing is. Alright, report back to Calyrex on the outskirts of the village. Okay. Is he still in the same spot? Uh, yeah, he's just right over here. What's up, my dude? How are you doing? Crow, crow, crown. Oh, that's right, he doesn't have a body. Oh, hey there, Chief. I had a feeling someone called me. Was it you? Oh, you're gonna get possessed again. You're about to get possessed. Yep, told you. I knew he was gonna get possessed. <laughs> he just ran. He got, he got baited. Human child, were you able to find something about my loyal steed? Yes. Uh, you, uh, you say you found out something that about my loyal steed that I could not resist? It has been so long since we rode together that I had completely forgotten... With this information, we might be able to lure my loyal steed to me yet. So tell me, what is it that my loyal steed would find so irresistible? Uh, the carrots, obviously. Oh, carrots, you say? Yes, I remember now. Even back when we were together, it would leap at any chance to eat some kind of crop. It took everything I had to restrain it. Looking back, the crop must have been carrots. I am in your depth, human child. What we must do now is clear. If we're able to find some carrots somewhere, it should be but a trifle to lure my loyal steed back to me. I wonder, did, any, did the humans in the village grow any carrots? If we could obtain at least a single seed, I could at least uh, could grow a carrot from it myself. Alright. Before we find the king steed, we need to get hands on the food carrots. Maybe the people of freezing tin can help me out. I think we can buy uh, carrot seeds. From this guy over here. Well, we, even find, we do have seeds right here. Yeah. Now we can bury the ore in our fields and make our crops huge. Here are the seeds I promise. Um, yeah, but you can also buy them from the uh, villager too. Okay, carrot seeds. Seeds the plants that feel the kind of carrots you get is to uh, determine... Uh, which field you plant the seeds in. Oh, so you actually have a choice. Okay, now I remember, kind of, okay. So as they said there was a ghost field and there's an ice field and you actually have a choice. Don't go planting the seeds I gave you willy-nilly in the villages, villages fields now. Those fields are for our own crops. All right, so I think we got to report back now. Show oh, yeah, we got to show the seeds, okay. All right, I was going to say, yeah, uh, Panguro, you might want to uh, get through that gate. All right, have you found the carrots, human child? Yep, right here. By the stars! You say that you have carrot seeds. That strange bag contains the seeds of carrots. You humans never stop adapting and evolving. I am constantly amazed by your ingenuity. And yet, hmm, the fields of the village simply won't do. They're not suited for uh, growing carrots. If we could find rich soil, I could use my powers to grow the crops we need. Now, where, now where, where might we find the soil suited for growing these crops or in this tundra of mine? Oh, he's actually envisioning. Oh, okay. I uh, see two spots that suit our needs. One is a field covered in pristine snow. Okay, so that's the ice. This must be the ghost one. Another spot is a field by gravestones who those who have moved on were laid to rest. Either these locations should allow me to use my powers and grow the carrots we need. Please, I ask you to choose a field and plant those seeds. Alright, we're making progress here. Snort got up. He's on the cocaine again. <laughs> what in the... I seem to be in the habit of falling asleep outside. Yeah, ha, ha. I guess it goes to show uh, holding down the fort isn't all that easy. You take care of yourself, Chief. Don't overdo it. He hasn't done shit. <laughs> this guy hasn't done shit. 
You marked the two fields you to told you on your town map. You jotted down. Okay. Okay, so town map. So... so okay, so the snow... Ooh, okay, so I'm thinking... Okay, so it's this one, Old Cemetery, or the snow sled. What should we do? Where should we plant them at? What do you guys think? Where should we go? I'm kind of thinking the, like, the ice one, but I want to see what you guys think. Where should, where should I go? Where should I plant these? I don't know. Well, well let's, let's see here. So we want to fast travel here or up here. Ooh, that's this is this is a tough one. I don't think there's a wrong answer either way though, but where should we plant? Where should we plant? Uh here here or here? Okay, yeah, just like kind of around here. Yeah, let's let's do the um, let's do the ice. Oh, you can't fly there yet. Do the ghost one. You want me to do ghost one? Okay, I can't fly there yet. Okay, so I can't fast travel. Got to be. Okay. Oh wait, never mind. Okay, there's a cutscene coming up. Nan, nanny. Wait, what is it? Oh no! Sing that song about the King Steed's Pokemon. King Steed's Pokemon. Oh, of course, my dear. I'd love to. Ice root carrots, cold as ice, munched up all by the bully in white. Shade root carrots, dark as doom, crunched by the bully with a ghostly gloom. Now you make sure you eat your veggies too, just like the Pokemon in the song. Yes, yes, Nan. Oh, this the spiel is actually clapping too. All right, Matt's Matt saying ghost. All right, let's. Uh, okay, I guess I guess we'll do ghost then. So we'll go. We'll go this way. And then we got you turn around here. The best person in the world has just now arrived. <laughs> What's up, Cynthia? How you doing? That was the legit the most random thing to say ever. <laughs> oh my god, that was that was that was clever. I like that. All right, now we gotta find the graveyard. So you're okay. So we'll do the ghost. All right, so let's go and okay, so it's right over here. All right, so it, okay, so it has to be like right over here. You gotta boost your ego somehow. Oh boy, the egos. Ego's playing a factor here. Wait, was it over here or was it some flip? Okay, so it might be. Wait, we're... okay, I'll think it might have been over here, maybe. Maybe? Um, okay, I'm guessing it's, okay, hold on. Oh, let me check the map again and see, uh, anywho, you're doing well? Nice. Awesome. Glad you're doing good. Uh, I think much of the Isle of Armor we have to trade to get both types of, uh, yeah, I think, I'm thinking you're right. Oh, we have to go, oh, we gotta go down a little bit. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of in the, kind of in the right area, but, um, let's go this way. We gotta go down just a tiny bit. How am I doing? I'm good. We're playing some Pokemon DLC, so we're just kind of, you know, doing some main DLC missions. We're trying to plant some uh, carrot seeds in the graveyard, um, so we're gonna try to at least get around, or at least try to find the, the crops for that not run into a Pokemon. Alright. Uh... And girl wants to be petted. Alright, let me, uh, how can we go? Is it, is it behind this gate over here? Okay, so this is the graveyard. This is 
kind of... Okay, here we go. Yeah, it's right here. Okay. Let's do the graveyard. It's one of the fields Cal Rex told you about. You want to plant the carrot seeds in this field? Yep, we're doing that. Alright, since Matt said we'll do the ghost one, that's what we're doing. I see we have reached one of the fields. If you plant the seeds in this field, shade root carrots will grow. It has been so long that my memory is hazy, but I believe that my loyal steed would often partake in this sort of vegetable. If shade root carrots were, were what my uh, steed preferred, it must have been ghost type, mustn't it? it most, it's most vexing that I can't recall, but I suppose we will see. I will ask but once more, are you sure this is the field that you want to plant the seeds in? Ah, uh, well, if Matt said ghosts, so I guess we're doing ghosts. Very well, then I must ask you to plant the seeds. All right, we're planting them. Dig, dig, dig. You plant the carrot seeds in the field. Pat, pat. Ha ha ha, very good, very good. You have an able hand for working with soil. Now then, it's the time I did my part. Let me show you my powers. Oh, he's about to show it here right now. Oh, look at this. That was quite the dance, actually. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Uh-oh, look at this. Doink. You planted so many seeds, and yet my powers could only get to grow one. Or at least one. Uh, to think I have fallen so low, it truly breaks my heart. But soon it will be time to bid my sorrow farewell. Now, human child, I must ask you to pull that shade root carrot free with all your might. All right, let's let's. Do you want to pull the carrot out? Yep, let's pull it out. One and two and pull. Got a shade root carrot. Put in the key items pocket. It grew in a gloomy field. Well done, human child. The carrot will be the key to luring my loyal steed back to me. Now all I need is the re the reins of unity. That will amplify my power, letting me ride my loyal steed with ease. But I doubt I shall ever get another set from the humans in the village. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, look at this. Oh, look at that. Look at that Pokemon Go. That's that ghost. Spectrier, my loyal steed, is it truly you? The glossy back pelt, that rough, violent gallop. It has not changed from the day we first met. Oh, how this brings back memories. <laughs> oh, that horse. Horse noises. It is my belief while my steed picked up on the scent of the carrot, it could not determine where the scent was coming from. Judging from the direction it ran off, it must be headed to the village in an attempt to pillage carrots there. If that is true, then freezing tennis must, is in danger. Humans, child, we must make haste. <laughs> He's just floating. <laughs> He's just taking possession. <laughs> Poor guy. Uh, you jotted down the current status of legendary crew number one. All right, so, but it ran off towards freezing team. Okay, so we gotta head back. We have to head back. Chase the Pokemon that ran off towards freezing team. Yeah. We gotta fast travel. My loyal steed is in danger of the villagers by two-way beat. Please, human child, I beg you, save the vil- where, where is- Oh, look at this. Look at this. Uh-oh. Just stop. Look at this. That thing looks kind of- kind of dope, honestly. Uh-oh. Spectrier. So it's a ghost type. Whatever this is. It's Spectre is after your shader carrot. <coughs> okay, so can we actually catch this thing? Oh, we can't throw a Pokeball, it won't let it. Okay, so. It won't let it scar. Okay, so we have to defeat it now. Hex. It's a ghost type, so... Bam. 
Got him. Well, we, we had a KO it anyway, so we couldn't catch it. Nylon Tails grew to level 80. Pangro 78. Boltun 81. Yeah, we had it. We had a KO it. We couldn't catch it like the first try. Yo, that thing actually looks kind of cool. And now it's just gonna run off. Eek! Uh oh. For crown. Horse just runs off. Are you alright? Yes, I feel like something stepped in to save me. Uh oh, he's not there though. Oh, we do we do have this something was left behind. We're gonna see what it is. A tuft of the black mane hair. Okay. Main hair that belonged to the king, the bountiful harvests, beloved Steve Spectrier. The hair is very smooth to the touch. Oh, kind visitor, how can I possibly thank you enough for saving the people of this village? I had no idea such a vicious Pokemon still existed in the tundra. Why, it reminded me of the uh, Pokemon in Fairy Tales, the loyal steed of the king. Ah, but no doubt I am overthinking. No, you're definitely not overthinking things, my dude. Hmm, what's that you have there? Is that a tuft of the black mane hair? In fairy tales, it is said that the weaving hair of the loyal steed uh, together with a radiant blossom grown by the king, it is possible to recreate the reins of unity which link the king with its steed. Excuse me. In fact, uh, it was my own ancestors who used to, used to weave the reins of unity uh, following an ancient tradition passed down over many years. Of course, I myself have never seen any kind of radiant flower, and the method of making the rains else has also been lost to time. In any case, we can't spend all day musing over fairy tales. I must make plans and preparations. The Pokemon that could that Pokemon could well decide to pay us another visit after all. Thank you very much for your help, kind traveler. So we just that's definitely gonna be used for something, I know that. smiling. He's nodding of, of approval. Okay, so he wants to go back into the outskirts again. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So, yeah, let's go this way. He's gonna return back to normal here, I bet you, right now. You have my thanks for protecting the village, human child. Where if I, if I was at my full power, I could obtain the steed and regain its loyalty. But weakened as I am now, the most I could do is, was to influence its will and make it depart. If I only had the reins of unity, they would have allowed me to attain the steed in short order. Uh, we can make a set. I mean, we, we need a flower, obviously. What's that? We can make a set of reins with the main hair for my loyal steed and a flower I can grow? A flower, a flower, but yes, but of course. I had assumed that the humans stopped making the reins of unity just because they had lost their faith in me. But it was because I lost the power to grow the material needed. I had spent far too long holding my misguided assumptions, it seems. It has been many centuries since I was able to grow a radiant flower, and doing, doing so drains much of my power. But for whatever reason, a fraction of my power seems to have returned to me just now. There is only one thing to be done. Let the radiant flower bloom. I feel so bad for him. He's just like sitting there possessed. Crownus Bloomus. Take this human child. All right. So we got the battle. The keys the single pal that, gave, that the king of bountiful harvest gave to you. Red is radiance faint light. It shames to admit, but a whole flower is uh, beyond me right now. I do not know if that petal will be enough, but I still ask you, that still must ask that you use it to try to create the reins of unity. The descendants of the family who once made the reins for me should still live in the village. I put my hopes on you, human child. 
Alright, so it looks like we gotta ask more vil the villagers. Alright, we gotta create the... Okay, so we gotta ask and then create it. Alright, so let's... Never heard of them. Well, the mayor's pretty good at making things easy. Made the okay, so we I guess we gotta go to the mayor then. The mayor's probably like the, the descendant. Like, 100%. He has to be. Up oh, here we go. Oh, hello again, savior of the village. Come to do some more reading. Uh, I need a favor. Yes. I beg your pardon. You want me to make a set of the reins of unity? Well, I say that pre presents a bit of a problem. If my dear great-granddad was still around, he would have been able to make you a set. But unfortunately, we have no one uh, left who knows their traditional ways at this point. What's more, I doubt you have the flower you uh, need to forge a set of the reins. Uh, yeah, so I, I do have it. Uh, is that a petal? Is that a petal from a radiant flower? If so, would that mean that the King of Bountiful Harvests is truly... No, no, I dare not. No, you better think. If I recall, my ancestors made the reins of unity by uh, following the ways passed down in fairy tales. There were two key materials, a flower and the hairs from a Pokemon. But I'm afraid those old traditions have since faded from memory. Still, how could I refuse to help such a kind and helpful guest? The materials, if you please. All right, so we handed them over. I mean, obviously, I'm the one that just saved your village, first of all. So at least you could do that for me. I can't promise this will turn out as well as the ones my great-granddad would have made. But it's time to breathe life back into the traditions of my village. Click, clack, click, clack. Whir, whir. Or whim, whim. I don't know what that said. Harumph. I'm afraid it hasn't come out well at all. I fancy myself crafting a crafty enough sword, but I suppose it'd take a craftsman of a truly delicate technique to make such fine reins. Oh, please don't look so dejected. I, wow, my character looks so... He looks sad. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm very sorry. Tru truly, I am. Oi, Mr. Mayor. The hot water in my shower seems to have gone on holiday. Ah, uh, yes. So terribly sorry. I'll have a look at it soon. Oh, you're here too, Chief? Were you in the middle of something? Your pair of you seem awfully gloomy. Uh, yeah. Here's what happened. What? Is that all? God, that's all you need to make some... What you do is make some nice cord. Pass me those materials for a mo. All right, got my pedal, got my hair. Now I, now what am I supposed to do with them? If I may be so bold, allow me to share a song that survives from the legends. Blossom woman, round and round, a royal gift and mane's hair bound. Steady on, old bloke. The singing is a bit much. Oh well, that'll do for an answer. Hiya, hiya, hiya. Please. Oh, All finished. Have a look. Think this will do? A set of the reins of unity. You put the in the key items pocket. So, of course, I shine when you hold up to the light. The people of old times presented to the king about Lord will express their gratitude. You're more capable than your face lets on. These reigns of union are the spitting image of those in my family's tales. Ha ha ha! I don't sew all my dear rebellious daughter's clothes for nothing, you know. Uh, even the explorer's outfit I gave you was just handmade by yours truly, Chief. Oh, so yeah, he made that himself. <clears throat> In any case, it seems you got the reins of unity you need. Isn't that just smashing? Okay. Alright, what's the next objective? What do we gotta do? Alright, tell Calyrex the reins. Oh, yeah, so we gotta tell him that the reins were made. Alright, so we gotta go to him now. Would you believe it? I caught myself falling asleep again outside. I was chilled to the bone, so I thought I'd warm myself up with a good hot shower at her base, but the water's com coming out was ice cold. I got ultra mega surprised and jumped out and went, Brr! Oh, he, he's, he's on drugs again. Human child, were you able to make the reins of unity? Uh, yeah, cheap, yeah. Indeed. This man has done so much to aid me, I do hope I can repay him sometime. I have some good news of my own. I was able to able to track down my loyal steed. Spectre is making its home in the Crown Shrine. It is a place where my loyal steed and I spent much time together. 
I had been avoiding the place as I feared I would get trapped by my uh, own nostalgia. Why has my loyal steed made the shrine its home? It is it was it reminiscing about our time together? No, it can't be. The crown shrine stands majestically atop of the mountain to the north. Bring the carrot and the reins of unity and meet me there. I shall hasten there now, but you may come to whenever you feel already. I'm counting on you, child. And this uh, just he's gonna float along with them. Beautiful. Alright, so you got by defeating the pearl. Okay, I was able to recreate. Now I need to. All right, so we gotta head up there. We gotta, we gotta fast travel. Fast travel for the win. Okay, no, we don't want to go all the way back here. Head to the crown shrine where Calyrix is waiting. All right, we're heading on over. All right, here we go. Can we still do something about the basket? No, we can't. Okay, let's talk to him. I've been waiting, human child. The crown shrine is a place I once called home. Spectre thinks uh, help thinks must think me helpless now that I have lost my powers. It's, it taunts me by making this place its own dwelling. Ah, I see. You have uh, indeed uh, brought me the reins of unity. You got my thanks, child. All right, so we gave it to him. Ah, the feeling of holding these again. The color, the way they shine in the light. Oh, how this brings back memories. Spectre is a very proud Pokemon. One may even call it arrogant. I will not. It will not accept me as its master again unless I am able to prove that my power outweighs its own. I will use the reins of unity to pour my power into the very body of my loyal steed. This shall convince it that I am indeed deserving of its loyalty. Now, human child, in order for me to lure my loyal steed to me, yep, that's the basket. Place the shade root carrot in the basket where the spectre has made its bed. All right, so we put the carrot in here. Up oh, there we go. Ooh, that's that is a cool looking carrot though. I'm not gonna lie, like purple carrot. I only imagine how what the ice looks like. The time has come, human child. But you have successfully delete, defeated my loyal steed once once already. It will not willingly approach anyone it considers to be a threat. We must hide and wait for it to appear. Okay, so we gotta do a little bit of stealth. So we can just do we have to follow him or do we have to? Uh... Up oh, here we go. Cutscene. Up oh, here it comes. Oh, here it goes. It senses it. Uh oh. Oh, that thing is putting up a fight. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, that is actually cool. That is super cool. Yeah, I was gonna I'm gonna take a screen for a clip of that. That was actually pretty nice. That was actually cool. <laughs> that was pretty dope. <laughs> What, what in the world? Such a huge noggin and it's got a ride. What? It can talk? Crown, crow, crow. I mean, it was it was possessing you the whole time. What 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 did you want? Crown, crown. Huh? I got no idea what you're saying, but somehow it also makes sense. Hold the phone. What in the world are you? Oh no, not again. Human child, 
Thanks to your efforts, I have been reunited with my loyal steed. And now I am finally at my full power. I was convinced that the people no longer believe in me and that and I had also lost my loyal steed. I was trapped in the throes of deep loneliness, but you saved me. There are truly no words in which and with which to fully express my gratitude to you. So I have a suggestion. If you're able to catch me even with my powers restored, it will, it will prove your worth beyond any doubt and I will lend you my strength on your journey. Once you have readied yourself, come face me. Ah, but first, I should get this man back to where I found him. It would be no good to let him freeze out here in this frigid climb. Up, oh, and he's gonna just lead him all the way back to his house. Alright, here we go. Crunk, crunk! Do you want to ready your Pokeballs? Yeah! Okay, that's actually kind of cool. Alright, I think we'll, be, we'll actually be able to catch it this time. Oh, cry own! As one. Calyrex has two abilities. Okay, so unnerve. And then what was. Okay, so the other one. Okay. There we go. Gyarados grew to level 78. Alright, so it's a Psychic Ghost type. Okay. A Shadow Rider. Legend said that using its power will sense events from past to future. The Pokemon saved the creature from the forest from a meteor strike. Alright, let's see, let's see the stats on this. Okay, as one. Okay. Let's see. Astral Barrage. Use your attack, sends a frightful amount of small ghosts at opposing Pokemon. Okay, Psychic Ability and then Giga Drain. Okay, what was the uh, nature? Okay, Bold. Ooh, that thing is actually super fast. But it's actually kind of, um... I was gonna say, it's, um... It's pretty, um, frail. Like, a kind of a glass cannon, sort of. Alright, let's send it to the box. Human child. No, I should refer to you by your name now. Pug. I look forward to what adventures we might have together. Hello, is that you, Chief? It's me, Peony. I just had a dream about a big-headed Pokemon talking on and on in a weird shrine. You were there too, Chief. It all felt so real. I got worried about you and decided I'd better give you a call and check in. You haven't hurt yourself, have you, Chief? Not a bunch of trouble, are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Ah, good to hear. Guess I got nothing to worry about then. Gah ha ha! The Peony Exploration Team is all about safety and well-being of its members, after all. So you, so you better be careful on your way back too. You hear? No expedition's over until you're safe and sound back at home base. Gah ha ha! All right, you jotted down the current status. Reconnect the loyal steed. It's hell of an to allow me to take it along on its adventure. Better report back. Alright, so that's what we're gonna do. Alright. Go tell, uh, go tell the chief about your adventures. But he calls me chief, though, so it doesn't, uh, something doesn't add up. Alright. Anything to report? Yep. Yep, Calyrex. Wait, you really caught Calyrex from the Legends? That's Ultra Mega Brilliant. Okay. That Noggin's massive. This is the, uh, the king of Bountiful Harvests, the one we call uh, the shots around here. Oh, okay, okay. so you just kind of... I could have sworn I've seen it before, but then again, maybe not. Anyway, it's definitely regal of it to have a steed. And that massive uh, head does, this, does sort out of resemble a crown. It's kingly enough at any rate. Let's call this a successful expedition. Looks like you report all there is to report on Clue 1 and the King of Bountiful Harvest. Smashing! I'll mark this expedition done. Alright, so that's done. Anything else you want to talk about? 
All right, so let's get some, uh, which one's got you said? Legendary Giants. Which one's giving you trouble? Uh, yeah, Giant of Rock. Find these ruins where you can do it. Try to track down the building I drew for you. All right, so what about the other ones? Yeah, the two ones, the two giants. Well, all the giants sleep in the ruins, so you have to find those ruins before you can do anything. Okay. All right, so we've been we've been killing it so far. All right, so which one does the next one say? Complete all legendary uh, hunting expeditions and then report back to uh, the chief. Um, I mean, there's not really much to go. Okay. I mean, we'll probably have to do the. Um, I was gonna say we'll probably have to do the Reggie mission here, probably like possibly tomorrow or something, because we do got to get ready though for later on tonight. So I think yeah. So we'll be doing stream number two of this, but I'm gonna be doing an open lobby stream where you guys can join me on Dynamax Adventures Raid if you have this game. But yeah, we'll figure out a way to uh, do the Reggie's one by like the next time we do this. So, um, anywho, um, I think we'll probably, yeah, we'll probably stop right here, though. So, um, that being said, taking a break, but we will be back here very, very, uh, soon. I believe, uh, like, a couple hours from now, say, like, 5.30, 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific time. So, that'll be, like, 8.30, 9 o'clock-ish for those you know, on the East Coast and all that jazz. But, anyways, I had fun. I had fun doing this. So, um... I will catch you guys here later on tonight. So thank you guys for tuning in, and I will catch you then. Hashtag Pokebark. Bye. Take care, Cynthia. Have a good one.